Hello everyone, my name is Hayden Danielson and I'm the Senior Onboarding Coach here at Tavuti. In this walkthrough, we'll be taking a look at how to create interactive content. Interactive content aims to help learners connect the dots when it comes to objectives, skills, and other materials being taught. Instead of just watching a plain video or clicking through endless slides with no chance for feedback, interactive content allows users to be tested as they are learning about the concepts. With a multitude of different options to choose from, there are various ways to present the curriculum you have in mind. Let's talk about how to create interactive content in general. When you first go to content creation and then the interactive content tab, you'll see oftentimes either a very blank or a very open interactive content library. This showcases any interactive content you've already created. But what we'll wanna do is click on the bright green new button up here in the top left-hand corner to get an overview of all the interactive content options that are at your disposal. Here, we can go ahead and scroll through the list of different interactive content types. We can also keyword search for anything uh, that we have in mind as well, such as hotspots, maybe drag and drops, various quizzes, and so much more. Within Tavuti's Help Center, there are individual articles describing how to build each one of these options. In addition, there is a blue details button next to each of these options to showcase an overview of how this could possibly look from your learner's perspective. There's a short description, followed by a couple of clickable images that you can cycle through to see what each interactive content module looks like. To showcase the Help Center, if we go to the bottom right hand corner and click on the Help Center here, we can keyword search for any interactive content module we're interested in, such as interactive videos. It should then bring up a how-to guide and showcase all the different options pertaining to these interactive content modules. Going back one step, if you ever need to duplicate an interactive content module, all you'll need to do is click on the checkbox next to the module that you want to duplicate, and then click on this bright duplicate option up here in the top right hand corner of the interactive content library. Interactive content is one of the best native features in Tavuti to help expand your users' horizons as they progress through the courses and lessons on your platform. As learners can have knowledge checks along the way, the information has a much higher chance of being retained over time. Thank you all so much for taking the time to understand how to create interactive content. We hope that this information is helpful as you continue to build out your one-of-a-kind platform. We'll see you all next time.